Hey everybody, I'm David with Bolivar Live and I'm here with Isabel at, from Camp Margaritaville, Crystal Beach. And we're going to set up the shows a little different. Um, we're actually recording this early in the morning, so if her eyes are puffy, don't hold it against her. I got her out of bed early. Um, but you've been there a little over a year. Yes. What do you think? I absolutely love it. I'm biased, but our staff is amazing. Our guests are the best guests in the world. What do you think about the pool? The pool is fantastic. You know, I always tell people, if I blindfolded you and brought you on to Bolivar and walked you in to Paradise Park, the pool area, and unblindfolded you, you would think you were in the Caribbean somewhere. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it doesn't, it's just so out of this world what Brad and men and the, and the staff there um, have been able to do. And, you know, I walk in there come be bopping in either through the restaurant or the pool and everyone's just friendly. Um, kids are running around and playing. It's really, I mean, what y'all have there to do, if someone says we're bored, man, they're sitting in their trailer. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you take care of activities, planning them, scheduling them and all that, but what else do you do there? So I'm also on our marketing team. So when it comes to content creation, event planning, all that kind of fun stuff. Great, great. So for those of you that haven't been there, it's an expansive and it's expanding. How many more spots have y'all added now or fixing to add? You officially added 40 more. 40 more? We'll have 60 more coming. 60 more coming and they've got some rallies that you've had one rally I think you have some more coming this fall and winter. Yes, yeah, we just had a super fun RV our way rally pop up and then we have a girls camper rally coming up this next weekend. Man, that's gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. So they have the restaurant, um, Finn's Bar and Grill with some great food and are y'all still doing breakfasts on the weekend? We are, Saturday okay. and Sunday. You do the breakfast mm -hmm. or the brunch, I think you call yes, it. Yes, yeah. And then uh, during the week you do dinners, lunch and dinners. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they've got some great food there. I love that uh, chicken salad, grilled chicken salad that yes. they have, or the wrap, or, or some of my favorites that I have there. And then they have the pool, but let's talk about fall because y'all have put together a pretty extensive fall lineup as far as events. Let's talk about your fall festival. Yeah, super exciting. So every Saturday in October, we have our fall market and fall fest happening. And that will be going on from four to seven. We're gonna have about 15 vendors every Saturday, maybe more, because the emails keep coming in. Right. We're gonna have games for the kids. And then also every Saturday, open to the public, we have trick-or-treating starting at 6 p.m. That will go through the resort, our little G section in the back. Great, great. And if people want to get some more information on the Fall Festival, how can they get information from you? So on our website, you can go under Fall. There's a little button up at the top right corner and that has all of our activities on it. Does it? Mm -hmm. Great, great. Let's talk music because Paradise Park is like no other. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a turf field, it's lighting, it's Finn's Bar and Grill overlooking it. It's RV spots. That's always been my favorite. If I had an RV toy hauler with a fold down, I'd have one of those RV spots right there next to the, the park because I could sit at my RV and listen yeah. to the music and just have a good time. Let's talk about Paradise Park. What all do y'all do in there? Because it's more than just concerts. Yes, so you can book it out as a venue. We hold proms there, we do parties, private events, and then concerts every weekend. And then we're also going to be holding it as our event space for the market. Great. Speaking of Paradise Park, who's coming up this weekend at Paradise Park? Because you've got a heck of a lineup for Friday and Saturday night. We do. This weekend's going to be a lot of fun. So Friday at 7 p.m. we have Hamilton Loomis coming back. Last time he was here, he rode his skateboard around Paradise while singing. So that was a show. And he's a heck of a guitar player. Oh, absolutely. I mean, just unbelievable. Mm-hmm. And then who's Saturday night? Someone's coming back. Yes, yeah, Saturday, 7.30, we have Corey Morrow coming back. He put on a great show last time he was here. He did. And, you know, if you followed Corey through the Texas music, uh, he's really hit the scene and really hadn't let up, I don't think. Mm -mm. You know, all the musicians that y'all have had there from, you know, Roger Craig or, I mean, some of the big names that, you know, and it's just the environment 
sitting there, being able to watch the concert um, with your family and friends. And the great part is it's family friendly. Yes. So whether you're there at the RV park with your whole family, the kids, I see kids running and playing mm -hmm. and the adults are sitting there with their friends enjoying live music. It's really a great time. Yes, yeah, my favorite is to sit over by the Paradise Park gate mm -hmm. and just watch the concert because you can see the stage, the jumping pillow, yep. everybody on their lounges, everyone on the field. And then you have, if you go to the pool and it's hot, you have the cabanas that you can rent. Yes. And then you also have the VIP suites, which if you get them on a concert night, it's mm -hmm. by the day. And so you can enjoy the pool out of one door one side during the yes. day mm -hmm. and then you can watch the concert out of the other side at night and it has its own private bathroom has tvs i know a lot of times you'll see the adults outside listening to the concert and the kids will be inside playing uh -huh. uh, ps5 or 4 or game or something you yes. know relaxing so well if people want to get more information on camp margaritaville crystal beach what's the best way they can do it our website www.campmargaritavillecrystalbeach.com um, but we're also on social media, so on Instagram and Facebook, the same thing, Camp Margaritaville Crystal Beach. Great. And make sure if you go to their website, sign up for their newsletter because they send out specials, they send mm -hmm. out advance notice, and there's a lot of things you can get through the newsletter that a lot of other people may not know about, and especially discounted stays. That's what I like. Yeah. I see it come across, I said, oh, they're going to be busy this weekend. Mm -hmm. So. Anyway, for more information on Camp Margaritaville and what they have, uh, go to their website, sign up for their newsletter, and we'll be back next week with more information on this Texas-sized RV resort here on Bolivar Peninsula, the Upper Texas Coast. Until next time, I'm David with Bolivar Live. Y'all have a great day, great week. Come see us. God bless, and bye-bye.